Hello and welcome to day number two of the challenge. Today we have a special guest with us, my mom. Hi, it's Barbara and today we're going to do Floating Warrior with Zoe correcting my pose. So for today's practice, you'll just need your yoga mat and a sturdy chair. And once you've got that all set up, we will meet you on there. Welcome. So let's get started with the chair over to the right hand side. We'll step our right foot out with the toes pointing to the chair and the left foot back with those left toes pointing to the long edge of our mat. Stretch the arms out nice and wide, relax the shoulders back and down, and then lunge deep into that right knee. We want to make sure the right knee is tracking right in line with our middle toe, so it's staying nice and open over the ankle. See if we can slide the shoulders a little bit further back so that they stack right on top of the pelvis. So you want to think the sternum, center of our chest, is lined up with the pubic bone. Take a couple nice deep breaths here, really energizing through the legs and the arms, preparing to get into our floating warrior. So we're going to take a big push off that back foot, and you can bring the right hand onto the chair if you like, lifting the left leg up in the air. Now if your chair feels a bit close to you or a bit further away, just take a moment to adjust it. So we want to keep the body still facing the side. See if you can really focus on pressing back through the heel so the leg is straight and strong and lower the left arm down so that it's in line with the left shoulder. Then we can play with tapping the right hand onto the chair or floating it once you've got your balance. Beautiful. Keep working to pull the core in. Keep everything steady. You can see my mom is doing a great job here. <laughs> Perfect. Slowly lower down. Nice job. Let's take a little half time before the other side. So we'll just press the palms down towards the mat, lean the head over to one side, and nice and slowly roll the chin down along the chest, bringing the head over to the other side. Try that a couple times side to side. Nice. Letting go of any tension that may have accumulated during your floating warrior. Great job with that. Bring the head to center, give the shoulders a couple rolls. Very nice. We're going to do one more thing here before we go on to the next side. This is called W to Y. So make a W, pardon me, make a Y like YMCA and then pull the elbows down towards the waist and make a W, squeezing all the muscles in the upper back. Inhale, lengthen, stretch long. Exhale, pull down, engage. Try that one more time. Tummies in tight. Pull the rib cage in. Stretch. Exhale, engage. Very nice. So you want to try and keep that activation in the upper back throughout the next side. So shift the chair over to the other side, to the left. Step the feet wide apart on your mat. The left toes are pointing to the front of your mat or where the chair is, and the right toes are pointing to the long edge of our mat. Now we take our deep lunge and take a look at that left knee. Is it collapsing inwards? Can you encourage it to open up? We do not want the knee to go forward of the toes. Pull the shoulders back and down, extend out through the arms, and really press into the outer edge of that right back foot. So it's quite easy to just think about the front leg, but see, can your back leg do just as much work as your front one? Sternum right over pubic bone. We got it. We're breathing. We're holding. We're preparing. Three breaths. Can you relax your face? <laughs> Can you find the joy in this pose? 
and get ready now you know what's coming big push off bring the left hand onto the chair adjust it if you need to power up that right leg power it up super strong feel the entire leg and your glute engage everything is nice and tight the right arm level with the right shoulder working to keep our neck long and the shoulders relaxed once we're steady play with floating the left palm tapping it down anytime you need to or if you're feeling pretty confident try floating that left arm the entire time one more breath here nice job lower all the way down good stuff let's stretch that out again give the shoulders a big shrug up to the ears then relax them back and down and again beautiful one more time big shrug back and down very nice we're gonna do one more thing here to release the shoulders so we want to press our palms together in front of us with the fingers pointing down inhale and bring the arms up overhead keeping the shoulders soft and exhale big wide circle all the way down Try that again. Keep the rib cage in, the tummy nice and tight, and exhale, big circle all the way down. Keep those shoulders down. Let's go one more time. Yep. And nice wide, big circle. Wonderful. That's it for today. Short and sweet, fabulous job. Thank you, Mama. Have a great day, everyone.